Just taking a short ride to see how uh, how everything works. One of the warmest days so far this spring. It got up to like 60 degrees. Maybe even higher. I think it might have been 65 degrees. But pretty soon we'll have a later sunset. We're going to have to turn our clocks. Spring ahead. This coming Sunday. So the sun will be setting around 6.30. That'll make it a lot nicer. Actually closer to 7 I guess. But uh, it's always nice when we have a little bit more daylight at, uh, at the end of the day. Get out of work. You can go and uh, have some fun doing some stuff that basically is your time. And nothing like having your time rather than somebody else's time that you give up when you want to have a paycheck. People seem to be committed to that routine in this society where we constantly put ourselves in a position where we give up our time and then before you know it, you ain't got no more time. And you hope you have a little money left over after that. And if you do, you live long enough to enjoy it, that's all the better. Anyways, I don't want to get on that subject. I'm riding a motorcycle. It's it's a fun thing to do, so let's talk some fun stuff. The Euro motorcycle, 750 cc's. It's a joy to drive. Now, I always said that I'd have a sidecar motorcycle before I stopped riding it altogether, and I'm glad that I got this. I got this about three years ago, and uh, it's a 2011 Ural Retro. Bought it up at uh, New England, um, Ural of New England, up in Boxborough, Massachusetts. They have a tremendous selection of motorcycles there on the floor, and uh, they've come a long way since I bought this one. They put disc brakes on uh, the sidecar and on the rear of the wheel. Uh, they've gone with fuel injection. Uh, this this one has, uh, has a uh, carburetor set up. I think it's the last year they had the carburetors on it. So I bought it because it was a beautiful bike and it reminded me of a white BMW that my dad had. He had an R60 BMW and he had a wonderful time riding that bike. He drove it down to Daytona along with uh, one year and then the, when he owned a R69S, a black one, he took that one to Daytona also. Drove it all the way from uh, New England to Daytona. What a ride that must be. Uh, I haven't done that kind of ride yet, but a lot of people have. And I you know maybe I'll attempt that sometime. That would make a good uh, a good video. A pretty long one. Well, there's plenty of people uh, that ride motorcycles that do long trips. Uh, I'm looking forward to taking some more trips and recording them and getting some nice scenery in. Possibly having, uh, you know, somebody come along, enjoy the ride with us. Oh, that's right. We can have you come along. So you're welcome to come along if you'd like. Just tune in and go to Lifetime Adventures. Look at our next video, and you'll be able to travel along for the adventure. Yeah, 
when you take a right hand corner with a sidecar on the right you have a chance of lifting the sidecar up and that makes for an interesting ride and doing a two wheel wheelie always fun to do that kind of freaks out the person in the sidecar with you though unless they're not used to it yeah. here we go another red light a lot of red lights around this town <laughs> some green ones too here we go green light Well, that was my little test ride. Let's go and see how it came out. I want to make sure that the videos I shoot are top quality so that you can enjoy the ride without too much uh, disappointment. 